Hi everyone, today I'd like to discuss the Intelligent Drawing 3D Printing Pen. I was able to receive this pen for free for review purposes. All in all, it's a very nice little pen. As you can see, here's the box, and it includes everything that you need inside, which are the pen itself, the stand, the adapter, as you can see there, the instructions, and two rolls of filament. The filament, one is a little thinner and one is a little thicker and they are clear. Um, the pen is pretty easy to use when you kind of figure it out. There's the stand and the stand has a suction cup bottom so it'll stay in place when you actually want to use your pen. Um, all in all it was interesting to use for me. I think it's going to be a, a learning process. As you can see there's the top so there's the uh, notch for the adapter at the top and the hole at the bottom is actually for where you insert the filament. The filament's actually fed into the pen thanks to the motor, internal motor. So as you can see, here's the actual directions and the layout of the pen. So it has the LED screen, it has the material buttons up and down, it has speed controls up and down, and it has the wire up uh, release and the wire feed. So these are just the um, speeds on the left hand side so if you press one to go up it'll come out a little faster and if you press one to go down it'll come out a little slower and these are actually the release and insert buttons so if you press the one at the bottom it gives you the continuous feed and the one at the top actually uh, reverses the feed so it helps you remove the filament without damaging um, the filament internally and it's pretty easy to use when you press the button it'll give you a continuous feed so there is the actual LED screen and the two little buttons actually indicate um, the filament names. This was just the actual pin in the stand so you can see that it actually did stand up. Sorry that it came out kind of blurry. And here it is when I actually put the first filament in, the PLA filament, and as you can see that one's actually a little thicker. and. Um, it's actually really easy to feed in. This was just a little video that I took showing you the difference between as you press the button because when you turn it on it automatically turns orange when you actually plug in the adapter and then it gives you the option of if you press the buttons you can actually change the filament letters from ABS or PLA and as you can see there it actually turned green so that means you're you're actually ready to use the uh, pen and the filament melts at different heat rates so this one was just a test because I was trying to figure out how it was coming out so as you can see it just kind of comes out in a little stream and then you just go ahead and use it whichever way you're going to use it this was just another little video that I took trying to figure out how to use it and how to draw with it um, I just kind of made spirals for the most part and it kind of clumped together so I as I said I think it's just going to be a learning process of how to learn how to use it because this was my first time using it. Uh, as you can see it actually makes a pretty straight line and it is a consistent feed as you go and then this one was the second one the ABS filament as you can see this one was a clear filament and it's also a little thinner so it actually feeds through the machine about the same rate but it melts a little quicker than, than the thicker one. And then this was just, again, another little line that I made with it. And I thought I made a mess, but I think I think once you get the hang of using it, you actually can draw with it and it's a little easier. That one actually looks a little more like a square, which came out pretty good. All in all, it's a very neat item to have. Like I said, it's a learning process. But if you're interested, check it out. Thanks for watching.